Hi, I'm Jordan, and I've been working with Stone Soup Group to prevent bullying behavior and its consequences. We visited partners' clubs to see what students know about bullying behavior and what we might do to prevent bullying in Anchorage high schools. Partners Clubs are programs that develop activities that promote inclusion of all students. The clubs taught us that everybody can be part of making the classroom a bullying-free environment. This is just a good place to be if you want to make friends. Like Most of my friends I have are from being in here. Mm -hmm. Like other people that are peer teachers, I made friends with in here. And if I didn't know about this place, I probably wouldn't have a wouldn't be the, I wouldn't be the same. This has also been able to help me learn how to be, to be more mature, what, what's right and wrong to say, how to act. Bullying is unwanted, aggressive, intentional behavior among peers that involves a real or perceived power imbalance. Their behavior is repeated or has the potential to be repeated over time. Students with special needs or disabilities can be seen as more vulnerable than the traditional student and therefore may be more prone to bullying. I couldn't make friends. No one really cared enough about, uh, no one took the time to understand that I had these conditions. They cared more about themselves personally and they didn't want to be seen probably around me. So it left me as all by myself, not really knowing what to do. It's important for teachers and students to recognize bullying behavior, address it, and then take the necessary steps to prevent it or stop it from continuing. But in order for us to help prevent bullying behavior, it's important to know what it looks like. Sometimes that concept is hard for students to understand. Words like drama and teasing make more sense. When describing bullying behavior to your students, consider talking with them about what it looks like and incorporating video so that students have a visual representation. Consider talking about cyberbullying too and defining the differences. The support of friends and classmates is important in preventing bullying behavior. Um, I think having supportive friends that are trustworthy to go to and talk about things mm -hmm. um, is helpful and being um, very inclusive with everybody um, and kind to everybody no matter um, if they've done something to you or not. We know it's best for the target of the bullying behavior to avoid engaging with the person who is bullying. But most bullying behavior will stop if another peer, like a friend, intervenes. Encourage students to try one of the approaches. 1. Intervene. Interrupt the bullying by speaking up. If you are willing to let people know you think something is wrong, you can make a difference. 2. Seek help. Look to a trusted adult or ally. 3. Distract. Start a conversation with the target of the bullying. Teachers and school personnel can help by role modeling positive relationships and encouraging peer support. Talk to your students about what it means to make and keep friends and how to support each other. Commit to creating safe spaces that are inclusive of all students regardless of abilities and free from bullying. Promote empathy among all students. Developing empathy and social emotional skills is a way to stop the bullying behavior from the beginning. Many high schools in Anchorage offer partners clubs to increase inclusion, friendships, and academic outcomes. If your school has a partners club, we encourage you to find out what you can do to support it, learn from it, and encourage students to participate in it. If your school doesn't have one, consider starting a club. Youth in Anchorage who experience bullying are 2.5 times more likely to feel sad or hopeless. But you can make a difference in the lives of so many students. Take the extra step today to prevent bullying behavior.